Libya's been ripping itself apart for years. Much ignored, it seemed far off. But we are more involved in this fight than we ever realised. These home videos are from Benghazi and one faction, the Libyan National Army. It's a foreign war, but this fighter is from Manchester. The boys from Moss Side became Libya's soldiers. Mohammed El Sharif has taken up arms against Islamists, including the so-called Islamic State. He left Manchester in 2011 and never went back. People at that time, whoever wanted to come to Libya, I knew he could, he could come to Libya. Just come, go book a ticket to Tunisia, book a ticket to Egypt, book a ticket to wherever, and then just get a taxi into Libya. And once you're in Libya, they know you're Libyan, that's it, nobody can talk with you. It's your hometown, it's your city. This is home now. Drugs are widespread, dulling the monotony and the wounds of young fighters. In this madness, the Islamic State is waiting for the right moment and the right recruit. Make sure they don't go to that path, if you know what I mean. Like, if you need them to do what they do, there, there's people that are looking for your young lads to blow themselves up, to do stuff like that. They're going to find them, they're going to convince them, they're going to make them do and do and do. Yeah, that's that's Sama, no. That's Sama right there. That's Sama. He was once good friends with the Manchester bomber, Salman Abedi. But they chose different sides in Libya's war. They haven't seen each other in five years. The fighting changed both men. I've been in war for over three years. I've seen so much blood. I wouldn't go blow myself up. But life here is warped. Mohammed was filmed proudly desecrating IS corpses. Uh, you posted a video on Instagram. Um, tell me what happened. Why did you shoot those bodies? It is wrong. It is, obviously, what can I say to you? I do regret it, but... What can I say? They deserve to die too. They deserve to die because they killed so many people. The journey to here from Manchester was quick and it was easy. These two worlds overlap. Mohammed stayed in Libya, but Salman Abedi brought the violence back home with him. Libya's chaos won't be contained. Quentin Somerville, BBC News, Eastern Libya.